Well, hello, it's a lovely sunny day out there. I've got the window open, so there might be a few extra sounds. Now, with this lovely weather we've been having recently in the UK, I've been doing my trips, and the most recent one, which I'm talking about now, is down to Portsmouth in Hampshire. Now, this was suggested by a friend of mine, the subject that is, so with the help of the Ordnance Server Map, I found my way to view the HMS Victory. So the programme is going to be devoted to this famous ship, of course, uh, associated with Nelson. So I'm going to put the programme together now, and as you may have noticed on the table, I've... Uh, <laughs> Got my inspiration there, the Bell's Whiskey. So if any of the photographs are a bit unsharp, out of focus, you know what to play. Anyway, for now, I popped a bit of whiskey in my coffee. Cheers. I walked from Portsmouth Harbour Railway Station to the National Museum of the Royal Navy, passing on the way some imposing vistas of HMS Warrior. Getting decent shots of the exterior of HMS Victory, my objective was a far greater challenge because, since 2012, extensive conservation to the vessel has been in progress and will continue for many years. Much of the upper deck is out of bounds. Those lower down are not, so let's take a look, but mind your head. Below deck it was very dark. At times, I had to bump the ISO up to 800. Obviously, I couldn't use a tripod, neither did I feel it safe to test the excellence of the image stabiliser in the OM5, and the lens did not have one. This was very important when the shutter speed was often more than a second. I didn't fuss about my control in the camera beyond what was essential. The mode is program, white balance, auto. Used my experience when spot metering for exposure and saved to raw so that I could adjust the image in the comfort of my home and not on site where I was more concerned about other people walking into the scene. The raw image out of camera looks destined for the trash bin, but it is amazing how Adobe Lightroom can rescue it. I hear you whisper, HDR, but the OM5 instruction book recommends the use of a tripod, which I couldn't use, so it's back to plan B, that in my opinion should be a plan A. Depth of field, when it is necessary to have the whole scene sharp, can also be a problem. Because of low light, it forces the use of a wide aperture, reducing depth of field, but a wide-angle lens will increase it. Micro Four Thirds helps, as it uses lenses over the whole spectrum having shorter focal lengths, but the cameras that work best because of their small sensors in this restricted environment demanding extensive depth of field are smartphones and some bridge cameras. So there you are. With many decks demanding detailed exploration 
and a sound technique, I found the shoot exhausting and was desperate for a cup of tea. The Mary Rose exhibition was next door, but I'll leave that for another day. Instead, I sought sanctuary in the old town of Portsmouth, a relatively peaceful haven once I had avoided the crowds flocking to Gunwharf Keys. had the cathedral to myself, and have done Spinnaker Tower on a previous visit. But one place a visitor might overlook is Ports Down, a prominent hill a couple of miles north of the city, and easily accessible by car. The panorama is breathtaking, and includes the Isle of Wight. 